And it's time for Football Friday Night on CBS4. I'm JoJo Gentry. Semi-state games have wrapped up across Indiana, which means the state championship pairings are set. Let's dive into tonight's action. First up in 6A, Center Grove versus Ben Davis. Five of the last six years, either Center Grove or Ben Davis has played for the state title. First series, Daniel Weems breaking away, goes 46 yards for the first touchdown of the game tonight. Trojans go up 6-0. The next up, Ben Davis, Juwan Swanson passing. Hits up Ryland Richardson. He's there for the catch and the run and ties the game up at 6 as they would score on this drive. Back to the Trojans. Taven Jackson running and then with a short TD pass to Weems. Center Grove goes up 13-6. Then right before the half, Swanson. Swinging out to Donnell Mason, who, who makes guys miss, takes this back 67 yards for the touchdown. Center Grove ends up beating Ben Davis 48 to 13. They will face Westfield next weekend. Shamrocks beat Maryville 41 to 13, to, to 23 tonight, I should say. Class 5A, Cathedral on the road to Castle in Newburgh. First quarter, Cathedral on top, Jake Langdon. Leaping into the end zone puts the Irish up two touchdowns. Then the second quarter, Nathan McCahill with the fake takes it for himself, running with some ease here and then enjoying the breeze all the way down. 83 yards on the TD run, and the Irish are in control. Before the half, McCahill play action, lost it. For Camden Jordan as he secures the touchdown. Cathedral beats Castle 32 to 7. Facing the Irish next weekend, it will either be Valpo or Zinesville. Vikings up 9 to 7 in the third, but then Josh Stone fakes the handoff, keeps it for himself for the touchdown. Zinesville takes the 14 9 lead. Valpo looking to respond, but Vikings pass is picked off by Owen Russell as he returns it to the 19 yard line. Stone then wasting no time cashing in on the turnover scampers into the end zone and just like that it's going to be 21 9 eagles for then a little insurance aj vinatieri adam vinatieri's son connects from the 30 yard 38 yards out and zionsville would win tonight with a final of 27 to 9. moving to 4a action at Ron Colley, where the Rebels face Mooresville. Ron Colley already up 14 0 in the first. Baron Hubler takes it from the 11 yard line to the house to extend the Rebels' lead to 21 zip. Mooresville then trying to muster some momentum on offense. But look at this. Ryan Henry with the one handed pick makes a nice gain before he gets taken down near the sideline. Then in the second quarter, Rebels on the run. Again, and it's Hubler again with another touchdown for Ron Colley. Rebels now up 28-0. Mooresville not getting a score in the game until late in the second quarter. Quarterback Nick Patterson takes it in to make it a 28-7 game. Ron Colley wins 42-14 and will go for its 10th state title next weekend. To 3A semi-state, it's Chatard versus Mishawaka Marion on the opening drive. Carter St. John, there he goes, keeping it, breaks a tackle and then breaks another one, goes 71 yards for the touchdown. And just like that, it's a 6-0 game. Marion looking to answer inside the red zone. Maddox Bagunia Bright looking to pass, picked off though by Matthew Semler at the five and Chatard takes over. Second quarter, Chatard knocking on the door. St. John not nearly as far as the first one, but his second TD of the night there makes it 12 0. Chatard wins tonight with the final of 18 13 and will face Hobart at state. Up next for Chatard will either be Danville or Mishawaka Marion. Scoreless in the first, Danville's Kane Payne passing. Play action, Jake Comer touchdown makes it 7 0. Southridge then ties it up at 7. Second quarter, Ethan Dutra. Up the middle, short touchdown there. Danville back on top. Then we'll see more in the second. Payne looking downfield to Tyler Dostin. Takes it 65 yards in for the score. And I should have said Danville wins tonight 30 to 7. In class 2A, Evansville Modern Day visiting Western Boone. Stars off to a hot start. Quarterback Elliot Young. Gets loose for a big gain to the Wildcats. Five-yard line here. 
as he runs all the way downfield and just gets knocked short. A couple plays later, Robbie Taylor plows into the end zone for the touchdown. Weibo takes the early 7-0 lead. Later, Taylor scores again after he kicks it to the outside after hitting a wall. Makes it 14 nothing stars. Second quarter, Western Boone facing fourth and goal. Young keeps it for himself, and the stars go up 21 nothing. Western Boone wins tonight 42-7 and heads to state for a third straight year.